I'm Michael Artsis. Thanks so much for joining us on Be Terrific. We have a great guest via Skype. She is the luckiest woman in the world. Her name is Victoria Del Rose Roselle, and you may know her from telenovelas and lots of magazine spreads. She models. She does a lot of stuff. Thank you so much for joining us, Victoria. It's great to have you. You know, in talking with you off camera, you're just you're so much fun. You've got such a great energy. How do you keep it going all the time? I don't know, you know, everybody says, like, where do you have the button to turn you off? <laughs> I haven't found it yet. <laughs> you know, I get that a lot, too, because I'm super high energy, but you really just have a, a great uh, personality. And, you know, the thing is that you're on so much telenovela stuff. You're now in L.A., you've lived in Miami for a while. Are you going to start doing uh, some American programming? Is that the plan? Of course, that's the plan, you know. I just moved here. I've been here for the past five months, almost for this project, uh, the reality show that I'm doing, uh, Rica Famosa Latina. And uh, the idea, of course, like everybody else, I would love to break into the American market as well to reach more audience and expand myself, you know? So that's the idea, yes. <laughs> I think the thing that I'm most interested in is the fact that you're a telenovela star, right? So to me, that means that there are gonna be all these people who are constantly um, you know, your fans, but like, it seems like it's such an engaged and rabid fan base. Do you get stopped pretty much everywhere you go because, you know, people just want to see you and, and are excited and they know you and recognize you? It's funny. Yes. You know, when you go to some cafe places or supermarket or things like that, you get recognized, but it's funny because the people feel shade to go and say like hey are you the one from the soap opera you know they call you by the name of the character in the soap opera and they get uh, really into the character if you're a good one they love you if you're a bad one like an evil one <laughs> you you better run because if you're in supermarket in the area where the tomatoes are closed you could have an accident there <laughs> i always i always find that so interesting when i talk to actors and actresses and, and celebrities that people always think they're their character you know occasionally I get recognized it just happened on the subway the other day we did a, a lot of live coverage from New York Comic Con we had a, a great audience I got recognized by some guys on the subway and uh, you know but they I am who I am right I'm not playing somebody else for you you're playing somebody else and it's so weird that somebody walks up to you and starts treating you to me like you're your character is that ever odd exactly it's what I'm telling you it, it's really funny when that happened and you have to explain to people like hey no you know what I I am not a bad person, you know, actually, I love the other characters. <laughs> We're very good friends in real life, but they don't really believe that. They, they look at you as a bad person that is doing bad things and trying to steal the boyfriend to, to the other good girl, you know? Well, trying to steal the boyfriend sounds, it sounds pretty cool. I don't have a problem <laughs> with that. You, look, I'm just kidding. You look beautiful. You're a beautiful woman. You got to work out, right? There's no way you don't work out. How many times a week are you working out? Well, I have to be honest, I don't work out a lot because when Come you're working out, Come on, there's no can. way. But I try to it, you know, and I, at least I try to it three times at a week, at least, if I can more. But you know what? I'm going to tell you my secret now. I've been doing this thing, the T25, this guy that created this uh, special workout thing that lasts for 25 minutes. His name is uh, Sean, Sean T, I think is the name. Um, and he's amazing. I've been doing that, and the results are beautiful. I love it. The I recommend it. T25, that's all you're doing? It's all what I've been doing for the past three months because the first two months that I moved here, I didn't do anything. I couldn't. I was so busy. That's amazing. Do you ever, I mean, you model a lot. Do you ever feel uncomfortable when you're in, you know, very skimpy clothing? I mean, because I got to imagine. I mean, first of all, I wouldn't if I looked like you, but every woman I've ever met, even women who are beautiful, uh, think that they're fat or that they don't look as good as they could look or never seem to be satisfied. So when you're when you're out there and you're modeling, you're leaning on a car, you're taking a picture, you know, with with clothing, you know, for a clothing ad or something. Do you ever feel uncomfortable? No, not really. And you know what? It's even funny. For example, when you're modeling, you're doing a fashion show, you know, a runway. And you have to be changing backstage with with men and women, all type, you know, designers, models, makeup artists, friends, people you don't even know what what they are doing. Guys, there. guys like me and who are there covering exactly the fashion that show. They're there shooting a, a show and suddenly you're completely naked and you even need a help with somebody to pull up the zipper of your dress because you need to walk out like in the next two minutes. And it's so weird 
some strange person come like, hey, please, can you help me? Can you close this? <laughs> so it became something natural, you know, without the marble, you know? I like to hear that because that's good. I'm glad that you have like a good self uh, body image and a, and, a, and a feeling. I mean, you're a beautiful woman, but uh, so many times I, I think, you know, I hear these terrible stories. So I, I like that and I think that that's good training. Is that how you got started? You got started in fashion and doing fashion modeling? Yeah, yeah. You know, in Mexico, I'm tall. <laughs> Here, I'm not that super tall. You how know? how I'm, tall are you? I'm vi by I the way, five I'm five seven. You're five seven? five seven. Okay, so I would fit in well in Mexico. I'm vertically challenged. I'm five six. So. Oh, oh my God! You're the the rock. <laughs> you will be rocking there. <laughs> the average <laughs> men are like that. Yeah, that height. Yeah. So yeah, I started doing a lot of um, still photo, you know, for catalogs, some fashion shows, a lot of TV commercials. Is how I start feeling that I would like to to work as an actress and then I went to study the career in a very recognized TV station from there which is Televisa. I, I studied the career for acting there but then when I just uh, graduate from that I received the offer to work for this TV show called Billboard Latino um, as a TV host. <laughs> so I'm like, but I, I, I studied to be an actress, why are you calling me to do this? And the producer was like, because I really like your energy. This is what I need to change a little bit the image of that Stiffy, you know, like <laughs> it used to be the, the, the style before, you know, like giving the news and talking about the artists and very stiff and I'm very animated. Like, so, well, I did that for two years. I moved to Miami and then in Miami is when I really started my career as an actress. It's funny. I'm not the only one who thinks that you have a great uh, personality and a very bubbly, energetic personality. Um, and, and I think you probably were amazing for the show and, and were a great fit. You do so much. You might not only be the luckiest woman in the world, you might also be the busiest woman in the world. <laughs> Victoria, it's, it's great to have you on. What do you do for fun? What do you do to just relax and have a good time? Uh, I love to sing in my house. <laughs> Are you good? When nobody hears. <laughs> No, to be honest, I really like to sing. So, yeah, I like to do it in my house. I love to go out and, and go to the movie theater. I love film, you know. I'm passionate, really crazy passionate about film. And uh, I like to walk a lot. Something that I miss about uh, Miami, you know, I used to walk a lot outside. I used to live always in, in close to South Beach, in Miami Beach area. So it's very easy to walk everywhere. Here, I haven't been able yet to find a place that... I really feel like that, but I'm I'm looking for. <laughs> well, L.A. it's hard. Everybody takes a car everywhere. Uh, you know, L.A. Story. I always think of the movie that Steve Martin did when you talk about that, because in that movie he talks about how everybody takes a car everywhere. Twenty minutes they take a car, or the driveway next door, and everything is a twenty minute drive. So I'm sure you'll find a place to walk other than the gym, though. In L.A., it's 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 certainly gorgeous weather and a lot of fun there. Um, what about, though, um, you know, you said that you you got into acting and you really wanted to do that. Did you always know? Was it when you were a kid that you always knew you wanted to be an actress? You know what? Yes, I was I was playing, you know, with with um, I used to have a nanny that was taking care of me and my brothers. And I was playing all the time scenes of soap operas I, I was watching on TV and everybody in my family thought I was completely crazy, insane, because imagine a little girl, maybe eight, ten years old saying this dialogue <laughs> from a soap opera that they are very, very dramatic. And then my mom started playing with me with that, you know? So I, I, I really feel it all the time. And in Mexico, you know, soap operas are so popular. It's a huge industry. So we were watching soap operas from 5 p.m. till 10 p.m. 10 p.m., that's a late bedtime. I like it. That's my style. Yeah. <laughs> my, son, my son, Jack, he's 17 months old. He stays up that late. Don't tell anybody, though. Um, do you, what's your favorite soap opera then? Well, you know what? So far, um, the one that I work at, my favorite, it was called El Rostro Analia. That was the soap opera that Telemundo produced a few years ago. But I really liked that. The story, the, the, the everything was great. You know, my character was fun. It was a bad one, but it was, it was interesting. To, <laughs> to, because it was a bad one, but not that bad one. It was just trying to get what, what she really wants in life, you know? And I don't really see bad things about it, but it depends how you do things. That, that it was making, my, my character name was Estela. And she was a little bit kind of like too, you know, like <laughs> using her body and, and 
she was a dancer, you know, so it, wait, wait, it was wait. What, what kind of dancer? Exotic dancer or exotic or... dancer? Oh, yes. I, I like <laughs> that. Well, can I you got to send me a link to this show. I got to check it out. I can send it to you. Don't worry. And it was so much fun, you know, as an actress, because in my real life, I don't I, I don't think I'm going to be working to do that. Yeah, because. I think it's amazing. Let me tell you, I, I I took some classes to dance, you know, in a pole dance. Yeah. And it's really, really complicated, but it's an amazing exercise. You know, I, I think people don't, they underestimate it. It's very complicated. And what people don't realize is that it really is the woman who's all in control there. So it's kind of very liberating. And it's also, uh, uh, look, it, it really is. It's a good way for young women to make a living if that's the you know if that's what they want to do i'm not you know saying it's bad i'm not saying it's good i'm just saying that it's an opportunity and i certainly don't look down on it at all i think it actually does liberate and give power to women so it's kind of interesting and it is hard work i, I you you found that out which it's is it's amazing yeah yeah the, and, the, and you know what other good thing about the pole dancing classes i really recommend it brings out a lot of your sensuality you know as a woman it teaches you things that Sometimes you as a woman, you don't learn these type of things. And then you end up being like, oh, more outgoing. I don't know. It's, it's, it's really cool. I like that. It <laughs> sounds like it would be a lot of fun. Um, and and it, uh, to me, this, the show sounds awesome. So that's cool. Um, listen, I, I, I know you got to run. Before I let you go, can you sing something for us? Can we get <laughs> something, one little thing? <laughs> I told you I see when I'm by myself. And well, you're, you're, by, you're by yourself right now. There's, there's I'm nobody. I'm going to something, but uh, let me invite everybody that is, is watching you now. They can see me now at the reality show I was talking about. It's Rica Famosa Latina. It's on Estrella TV. It's, it's, this network has been in, 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 in United States for a few years, but it's been growing very fast. And it's in 48 states already. Uh, you can see it as well in Mexico, and you can see it uh, uh, in Hulu. The show and it's really interesting it's a reality show about this very wealthy and powerful woman from this state you know la so it's been very fun for me to be working with these these women and they are a little bit crazy well they are a lot crazy uh, <laughs> i'm crazy too i think that's why i'm here <laughs> that's awesome i i can't wait to check it out and, and i'm glad you you mentioned it because i i actually wanted to ask you about it um and so that's awesome um and, and where's the best way for people? Just re remind them one more time. Where's the best way for people to find it? Estrella TV. It's channel 62. Okay. And uh, you can look for it at Hulu as well. And you can find as well in YouTube, in Estrella TV, the, the channel, or Facebook, Arrica Famosa Latina. They can find me as well in my Instagram and follow my live, <laughs> Victoria Del Rosal, or my Twitter, V Del Rosal. You love, you love Instagram? I, I actually I, really like Instagram. I do. I have to say that I really like it because you can be more in touch with, with followers, with, with people that really want to send you a message. You have a lot of space to write anything that you want. <laughs> you can post as much things as you want, you know, photos, videos. It's a, a really an amazing window, you know, into the life of, of people. And I love to have people in touch with me, you know? Yeah, I think that's awesome, and I agree. I think it's great to be able to engage the audience, especially the audience that you know follows you and looks it looks out for you and is excited by you. And I mean, we're we're we have an InstaCube here. This is an Instagram feed. A oh, really? Right. So now I'm gonna I'm, right I'm gonna take a photo. Let me do a selfie. Yes. <laughs> and and I'm gonna post it on your on I'm gonna, your Instagram. I'm gonna tell you the hashtag. Absolutely. What please. about that? Of course. Let's do a selfie. Look, you're there in the yes. back. Yes. All right. Awesome. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> so it, now we're going to post it I, and we're going to be and at it'll the be right here. It'll be uh, hashtag be terrific TV stage. The hashtag Perfect. is hashtag be terrific TV stage. So you already know the be terrific part. Just add TV stage and uh, it'll go right right to the cube right here. It's a digital uh, wireless photo frame called InstaCube wirelessly goes to this. It's pretty awesome. That's um, awesome. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really cool. We've got to follow you on InstaCube on Instagram rather. Now I'm getting all confused. We've got to follow you on Instagram <laughs> and Twitter, and we'll send you a link to this as well. Um, but uh, do you do you do like special days? Like I know a lot of people do. Like it's uh, a Monday morning wake up to their fans, and you know people do like uh, finally Fridays. No, my favorite day is Saturdays because <laughs> you know you you work already all the week, 
Friday, sometimes you, you after work, you go out, whatever. So Saturday is the day that really you have for yourself. Because Sunday, you have to be preparing again for, for Monday. So Saturday is that day that I really feel like I'm in, in the gap, you know? Like, awesome. Ah, breathing. Awesome. <laughs> Not thinking about anything. I love to go to the beach, by the way. I love the beach. I love that. Really? Yes. What do you, what, okay, I, I can't get into the beach. I, I try all the time. The only thing that I like about the beach is, honestly, it's, it, it's the, the view, right? And, and uh, the noise of the water is nice. But I can't stand the sand. I can't stand the sun just baking on me all day. What do you do at the beach? I, I mean, the only other thing is, like, I want to play, like, football on the beach. That's cool. Or, or uh, you know, with the paddles and stuff. Well, it sounds like you love the beach. <laughs> no, it, just, it sounds amazing. I, I just feel like, hey, can you invite, invite me? Take me? It sounds great. I love it. I love all of that. And uh, let me tell you, I hate the sand as well. But I bring this huge, like, towel. And then I, I am all the time, like, taking the, the sand away because I don't like the sand in my skin. But everything you say is exactly what I like. I like the view, the feeling that you have. You know, you have the breeze coming, the sound of the, the you know, the waves. And feeling the sun, the energy, for me, is, like, amazing. It, it recharges my my batteries. <laughs> awesome. I, I think that, yeah, I mean, there are good parts of the beach for sure. Certainly relaxing and reading a book or something is, is great. Um, all right, so I can't let you off the hook without having you sing. Can you sing something for us? When is your birthday today? <laughs> My birthday is uh, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. Okay, let's pretend it's today and I sing you happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay. That was a real cool happy birthday. <laughs> All right. I like it. I'll take it. I love that. That was awesome. All right. And, and I like your voice. It's very good. So, listen, I really appreciate you coming on and giving us some time here. I think that everybody's got to go check you out. Victoria Del Rosel, uh, you're awesome. I'm trying to roll that R and screwing the whole thing up. So it's Victoria uh, Del Rosel. Like, like you're driving a motorcycle and you do a run, run. Right. I'm going to get it right. Here we go. Victoria Del Rosel. How about that? Good. Yes. That was, that was much better <laughs> awesome uh and thank you so much for coming on i hope that you'll be a good friend of the show and that you'll come on a lot and you'll give us updates of what's going on and what's new in your life and what you're what you're on and when you're in new york in the new york area you got to come in studio of course Excellent. you bet i'll be there <laughs> all right we want to keep all our viewers up to date on what's going on with your career and we're going to bring you in studio so you know come back often please don't be a stranger Okay, I'm not anymore. All right. Now you, you know how to say Rosal, so we're super good friends now. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. And that's so true. Thank I won't you. I'll get it right every time now. Victoria, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Michael Arches. Keep watching. Be terrific. Watch all of our content on our site, be terrific.com. And of course, you can watch it on our app. It's free in the iTunes store and Android store. That's be terrific.com slash app if you want to find out more. Don't forget to check out everything that Victoria is doing. Just Google her, follow her on Twitter, follow her on Instagram. And if you just Google her, Victoria Del Rosel, you'll find out a whole lot more. All right. For Victoria, for everybody at Be Terrific, saying so long. Be terrific.